Hey everybody, this is Jason here again with Inkspit Designs. I uh, got another tutorial for you today in Illustrator. We're going to do some text effects. Um, just some real simple, easy things you can do to, uh, to you know, add some effects to some of your text. So these are a few things we're going to look at. Let's look at each one of these. Let's go ahead and just open a new document and we're going to make it a print uh, template. Uh, align pixels to, or align new objects to the pixel grid. Let's click OK. Let's get the text tool out here. Let's type out our text. I'm going to go with my first name, Jason. Make it nice and big. I'm holding down the shift key so I can keep it all in, in perspective. Uh, we're going to go over here to the character palette and make it all caps. Actually, this one I'm not going to make all caps. Let's change the font. Let's change it to uh, Lobster, I really like this font. This effect works really good for script type fonts where the, the letters are all connected. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on it and we're going to turn it, hit create outlines. That will turn it into uh, a vector shape. It won't be editable anymore as a font, but now uh, it, it's a, actually its own shape. And you'll notice here there's some, the letters are cutting into each other. We'll fix that just by coming down here to the Pathfinder tool and hitting Unite. Now it's all one single single color or single uh, object. So we're going to come over, turn it to a red color, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to make it an exact duplicate of it. And we're going to do that by holding down control and hitting C, and that will make a copy of it, control C, and then we'll hit control B, and that will paste it directly behind the um, the first version that we had. And we can't see it because it's exactly behind it, but if we hit the arrow key a couple times down and a couple times over, you'll kind of see it peeking out there. Um, Let's uh, let's go ahead and select the top one, and we're gonna make it white, and we're gonna give it a stroke. Let's give it a stroke of that same uh, red color. And if we go into our strokes panel, let's bump it up a couple points. Uh, I got a three-point stroke there, and uh, zoom in a little bit here. And as you see, it looks pretty good there. We got kind of a three-dimensional thing going on with that that second copy behind it, and of course you can. Uh, select it and adjust it, make it deeper if you want, move it around to wherever you think looks good. And I think that looks pretty good. You can go a little bit further if you want, choose the direct selection tool, and if you come in here, you'll see uh, here in the corner that these uh, these don't match up the corners, but we can grab that corner, move it up, uh, do it till it looks good, and there things kind of match up there. Um, I kind of went kind of kind of deep with this one, so. Uh, move things around, just move points around until you like the way things are sitting. Uh, let's grab this S right here. We can move that up there so it gets kind of a, an angled look. And you can zoom in, make it as, as precise as you want it to be, um, lining up the edges. So that's our first technique. So let's zoom back out here. Uh, I'm going to put this up in the corner. Oh, see, they're not grouped. Well, let's go ahead and group it together so we don't have to worry about falling apart. Let's bring it back up in the corner and let's do our second one. I'm going to type out the, uh, the word Morris. Let's make it nice and big again. Holding down the shift key. And for this one, let's go with uh, a Helvetica font. So we're probably all pretty familiar with those. Um, let me make it pretty bold here and let's make it, let's make this one uh, capital letters. All right. Maybe a little bit too big. Shrink it up. Okay. So similar things that we're going to do here. We're going to right click on it, turn it into outlines. So it's all, all uh, a shape now. And let's choose a color here. I'm going to choose this blue. Oh, that put it on the stroke. Let's choose the fill and choose this blue. And we're going to do the same thing now. We're going to make an exact duplicate and paste it behind. So Control C and then Control B to paste it behind. And I'm hitting my down arrow keys to move it down and over a little bit. And let's actually make this cut duplicate um, a lighter blue. Um, I like to, to work within the same colors, just different shades. So let's make this lighter blue, move it over a little bit more. So right now, as you see, it's kind of similar to this other effect that we did. Um, it's just more of a blocky font. So what we can do here, this is where things get a little bit different. We're going to select the entire thing. And we're going to come down here to the Pathfinder tool. And we are going to go ahead and choose the Merge tool. And it doesn't look like anything exactly happened right off the bat, but if we notice, we grab this, uh, well, it actually merged everything together. So we're going to ungroup it, and we're going to choose uh, this light blue color again with the magic wand tool. That will select all of that. We're going to group it, 
so it's all one shape go back to the uh, selection tool and now as you see if I pull it down and over it actually cut out everything that was uh, behind that first layer so it gives it kind of a, another 3D kind of dimensional look just another look and uh, I think it looks pretty cool right there um, what you want if you can go you can go even further you can select that light blue behind it come over here to your gradient uh, palette and let's click on that let's choose that that same light blue here and then the other side will leave white and as you notice here it kind of gives it a fade fade left to right there um, for each individual color if we hit the G key to choose the actually choose the, that color again hit the G key we can actually uh, bring up the gradient tool and draw it vertically so we get a different look there I kind of like that one that one looks pretty nice so again this isn't gonna work the gradient is gonna work obviously for vinyl graphics and things but for your text effects for different projects you might work on there's another another thing you can do alright so let's group that all together put that off to the side well I didn't group it all together let's group it all together and then we'll bring it up here and leave it alone for now let's do another one uh, Morris again let's do that it's the same font now this one very similar again, but this is a good example of how I found something out just, just trying things, seeing what would happen. That's the best way to find out some of these things. Let's turn it into outlines. Let's give it a, a green color here. And then Control C and Control B to paste it in back, bringing it over and down. Let's turn that one behind it kind of a, let's give it kind of a pink color, right? So we can, we got some contrast going there that makes it look good. And what I did for this one, I actually selected the whole thing and went back down here to the Pathfinder tool and lots of cool things that all these Pathfinder um, presets will, will do for you. And I use, let's see, I think I did the divide. I hit the divide. Now let's see what happens as soon as I, I did that. Is everything that intersects, it's going to, um, to cut, basically. And so if you choose the middle part there, and just hit the delete key. Everything we can actually do these multiple at a time. Uh, it gives it kind of a cool little effect there, and I thought that was kind of nice, uh, kind of a different look. And that's something I wouldn't have found out if I wasn't just trying things. So, there's another one. Um, I like that one a lot, too. And let's see, what was the last one we were going to do? Oh, that was pretty much it. This other one was, was the first thing we tried, and then the gradient. So there you go. There is... Uh, some different text effects you can try uh, just experimenting with the Pathfinder tool and with making copies of your your uh, objects and putting them behind and this will work great for it doesn't have to be text and, and things like that for any kind of object alright so let me know in the comments what you think of the video um, hopefully the audio is better better for this tutorial as well I, I finally brought bought a, a nice uh, microphone or a nicer microphone than what I was using, and so the audio quality should be a, a, a bump up. So let me know in the comments if it sounds better. Um, and of course, if you have any uh, videos or any, any questions that you have, we can do videos on. I'd love to do those. I've already gotten a couple requests. So put those down in the comments as well, or send me a, an email. Follow us on uh, Twitter at Inkspit, which with two Ts, and uh, that's I-N-K-S-P-I-T-T, -T, and same thing on Facebook, facebook.com slash Inkspit. All right, we'll talk at you later.